I'll say real quick how I came to see someone I wanted to reply to. But I wanted to make a video on this anyway. But there's this guy I watched, Dutch Sense, who is a conspiracy theorist about HARP um, and all kinds of things like that, and they're causing earthquakes. And, but what I like about his channel is he just pours over the radar data, the earthquake websites with 3D things on where the earthquakes are happening, and you can keep up with that kind of information. Um, and I figure, well, if he's motivated by his conspiracy theories, whatever, I mean, to have somebody walk through and look at all the interesting weather phenomena for the day is kind of, uh, in the U.S. mostly, is kind of interesting, but also in the world. And the earthquake tracking and knowing when there's a 6.0 and all of this. So he uh, has a conspiracy theory, helps him to take it seriously, but whatever. But he also just recently thinks there's a, an eruption of a volcano of, of plumes in California that the U.S. GS is covering up, and that's a bit too much for me when you start cutting down a great institution like the US GS, so fuck that bullshit. I was looking up debunking this guy, and of course it's funny because most of the people de debunking him also believe Harp, but it's like, Harp's controlling our mind, not just the weather and, you know, and just other conspiracy for TN theorists. Okay, so that's funny. But I did find one guy, um, and uh, he was also going on about the debt ceiling when I watched some other videos of his. So it made me think about this because, the, you know, the guy looked kind of liberal or libertarian or something. And, um, you know, he, he just, he, he thinks when you're at the end of your, a normal person at the end of the rope, they can't just uh, keep spending money. Well, look, we're not at the end of our robe. If we're a normal person, we, we have triple A credit. You know, the, when you have the hard times and you don't pay for the things you've decided you needed for your lifestyle, you know, generally normal wealthy people, when they can still just go to the bank and get credit, they, they cover and try to tighten up, you know, without causing a catastrophe. It's when you totally run out of even credit that the catastrophe is there. The benefit then is, you don't pay your debt, so that kind of at least sets you on your feet again. You have to see if you have enough money for your real bills. Um, but uh, but if you still have good credit, of course, you know you you do rely on that as an ordinary person. So um, yeah, they they had to do that. Um, the um, the thing about the, the, the debt ceiling and everything else is we have plenty of money. You know, if, if we were to cut down our military expenditures to twice the largest other nation's military budget, forget per capita, we'll be way, let's play 10 times per capita, whatever it takes, to be twice, hell, I'll give you three times bigger than the biggest other military, and we'd be rolling in cash in this country. We could get rid of the debt, we could be paying off the deficit and, and pay our bills, and we'd be building condos with decks for homeless people. Seriously, it is a shitload of money. And Pete, we're told, well, the resources are too scared to ha scarce to help the rest of the world, and we're going to have to tighten our belts. It's like, I'm fine with tightening uh, you know, my belt. I, I live in uh, little shacks in Hawaii and would, no matter how much money I've got, I've usually lived in shacks out in the woods, you know. So uh, I, I'm willing to live austere, that's not the point. The point is, why are we living austere? And it's so that we can buy bullets. And I'm getting a little sick of it, and I'm even already way past being a little sick of the fact that my fellow Americans and Westerners don't seem to get this, nor necessarily anybody in the whole world, that um, you know, it's a bit ridiculous to be spending all this money on war, especially when we could go ahead and spend money on war and have a huge military and still save shitloads of money, you know. But if you actually got rid of the cost of actual wars where, you know, they use the bullets and, and it, you can't just say it was unnecessary. I mean, it's still unnecessary generally, but you could say, oh, well, there's a real conflict. Uh, if we got rid of that expense as well, we are a filthy rich planet, you know, and things could be awesome. It's like three days from now, we just start spending the money we have now on that, and the world could be awesome. So what's your problem? 